guys, it's Jade, and today I'm watching Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Season 2, Episode 6. And before I get into it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. I really enjoyed last episode because we got to see more about Elma and more about Toru and just pretty much how they started and how they got to where they are now. And overall, I love their relationship because they're always like, we, we're not like friends. Like, we would literally kill each other. We've tried it in the past, but... From an outsider's view, they definitely do look like friends. And I saw some of, I saw some of my comments for that video and uh, I definitely do see a ship coming in for that. And I love seeing them together. Their relationship is so like dynamic and it's wonderful and it's funny, but it's also there's the sense of respect that they have for each other. But aside from them, I'm really glad that Ilulu was able to kind of delve into more human-like things because she got a job and she even met Take, which I wonder how the relationship's gonna be with them. Don't know if it's like a, if a romantic one, maybe not. It could be just a friendship one, which that would be very nice. But I'm really glad that she was able to get a job that she was really interested in because she can see the kids they're having fun playing and hanging out because she just enjoys being with human kids. So this seemed like the perfect job for her and I hope that she can continue doing it and more good things can come out of it. I'm very curious to see what happens in this episode though. I wonder what more chaotic things can happen. I did see that we are gonna get more of the other dragons and more of the other characters other than just Toru and Kobayashi and Kana. I am hoping because I saw it, we're gonna get more Fafnir love Fafnir, I don't know why, but I'm really excited for this episode, so let's get into it. <laughs> Yosh. Yes. <laughs> That's not weird. <laughs> like black coffee either. <laughs> Ooh, what is it? <laughs> A sucker for liquor. <laughs> yeah. It's hard when it comes to dragons. I don't think that's it. <laughs> Definitely not it. Yeah. It's funny, they just like come and go, come and go. No. <laughs> I mean, you're still a kid, so it makes sense. <laughs> it's a little nerve wracking, I understand. <laughs> uh, does that mean you should? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard. It's so difficult because you got these dragons, you don't know how to really... You don't know everything about them. Oh, it's so cute. Very responsible. Interesting. <laughs> that <But>, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
still playing. <laughs> what does it mean? Oh. Doesn't look like she does. Ooh. <laughs> I love how he like changes completely when he's in like this whole otaku mode. Playing glasses completely changes everything. <laughs> Y'all are in school still. Aww. Adorable. another one I remember doing something like that before I fell was that the crosswalks <laughs> oh she's dead <laughs> Wow She's just in there. <laughs> so cute. Oh. I don't think that's what she meant. Way bigger than that. episode wasn't as chaotic as I thought. I'm pretty sure it might be the next one if they show uh, Takya's parents coming in, but that'd be interesting to see Fafnir try to be human. But we don't know if he actually won the game, so we'll see. But I really did enjoy this episode. I love seeing Lukua and Shoda's whole relationship it's very weird in a way kind of it's a little odd what i love is that she found a home with shota and you can tell that it means a lot to her because even toru said like she normally doesn't stay at one place so if she's like staying with you for at this long you're important to her and she really likes you also as much as it looks like fafnir doesn't like being in this like human world and he kind of just indulges in whatever he wants and he could care less. I think when the time comes one day, he's gonna realize how much he really does like being there and he understands pretty much like what Toru is feeling, that whole meaning of being with the humans and kind of showing these human traits and having these human traits. I think one day he'll truly see why Toru wouldn't regret her decision to being with Kobayashi and doing what she's doing. Even though in like the dragon life, she's very important. 
I think that he'll understand like, yeah, it's not that bad being here. It's completely different from being a dragon, but there's something nice about this mundane life that these humans live. I also really enjoyed the little journey that Kana and Saikawa went on. It was so cute. Elmo though, <laughs> just casually in the water. And for Saikawa was kind of like, uh, the what? And kind of having to protect Elma's identity, well, just whole identity of dragons in general. Overall, I really enjoyed this episode, and it makes me very excited for the next episode. I wonder how the next episode is gonna be. But that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.